Okay. So we are recording the Zoom video. It was it went a little crazy, but we will have um, all of this recorded. So I'll share it with the group after this. Jeff, do you okay. want to go over the steps that you've already done so far so everyone can catch up? Yeah, great. So what we've done in the pot here, we've got diced onions that was sauteed and three kinds of meat, ground pork, ground veal, and this what I used is ground sirloin. And all we did was cook it off with a little olive oil. So as you see in the pot here, there's some liquid. I'm, all I'm gonna do is take that liquid and pour it off, okay? Because it's grease and I don't want grease in my sauce, okay? So my sauce is done here. I have added no seasoning to this, okay? There's no seasoning in here because if I'm gonna add seasoning now, all I'm gonna do is pour it into the strainer. So take a strainer that's in your sink. Your whisk is ready to go. There's a dog, sorry guys. So you see all the liquid coming off. I don't want all that fat in there. So now what I'm gonna do is tomato juice, 46 ounce can. Chef, if they're going to add garlic to this sauce, they should wait until after they brown and drain the meat. Uh, they can do it now if no. they want garlic because you want to release the flavor of the garlic. Okay, so add the garlic when you're adding the tomato juice. Yes, you can do it now. So diced tomatoes. And we're going to hold off on that plate. Come on. And then we're going to do about four or five ounces of red wine. Okay. After the meat is drained. Still got a little liquid coming off there. We're going to pour this back in. And now we're just going to cook this down. Okay? So there's no flavor, there's no seasoning in here. We're going to do some black pepper. Okay? To taste some Italian seasoning. So this one has in it. Uh, let me see what it has in here. Did you already add the tomatoes? Tomatoes are in here, yes. Tomatoes, tomato. The tomato paste I put in last, because that the tomato paste acts as my thickening agent. This is thyme, oregano, basil. So that's perfect. So so far, it's just the tomato juice and the can and the diced tomatoes from the can yes. and then yeah. the seasonings. No tomato paste yet. No tomato paste will go at the end and be my seasoning. We're going to add a little bit of beef consomme, so a powdered beef will act as my salt in this dish for the most part, because I don't put a lot of salt in. And that was probably, my guess is about two tablespoons. How much tomato juice? Uh, 46. It was about 32, oh, you used 46. Yeah, 46 on the sauce, on the juice, and uh, 32 ounces of diced tomato. So I did about a tablespoon of sugar to cut the acidity of the, of the tomato. So if you don't add sugar, you're gonna have heavy acidity from that, okay? One, Chef, two, um, is the bouillon that you use similar to beef bouillon cubes? I would do one bouillon cube and then taste it after salt and, and adjust with salt, okay? Because I'm not adding any salt in here, I'm gonna taste everything later and I'll see if I need to add more salt or more consomme, okay? Any other questions, guys? So we're going to bring this. check, but I think we're doing yeah, good. So Feel good? We've got the tomato juice. Perfect. Did Sorry, I marry putting in the wine? Did you add all yeah. of the, can, the, all of the uh, canned tomatoes? Yes. All of the canned tomatoes have gone in, and you did not miss the wine. Okay. Wine went in also. Oh, did oh, so put the wine up. About I missed four, the wine. Five of wine. And how much tomato? Too much wine. So a, a 32 ounce can of diced tomatoes, 46 ounces of tomato juice, about four or five ounces of red wine, beef consomme, pepper, and Italian seasoning is all in the pot. Okay, we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to slowly simmer it. And as we get close to the end, we're going to add tomato paste as our thickening agent. Okay. So what you don't have on this is a film of grease from the meat because we already drained that off. Okay? 
Are we all caught up? So then. My meat is still brown. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My arm is tired. All good? Yes. Yeah. Is everyone got stuff cooking? You want to hold it for your mouth for a moment? All right. It's all good. All right. Yeah, give her a break. <laughs> she want a break, hon? Okay. Are you ignoring me? I love the gold scene. <laughs> um, Chef, why don't you introduce your, your videographer slash wife? I know that the group wanted to uh, meet the- Paula, my wife is here. <laughs> Hang oh, on. Hold on. This is Paula. Hi, everyone. Sorry for all the issues. <laughs> That's my son, Brandon. How you? No, no, you guys are For those great. of you that didn't see, Lloyd Carson made the trip to uh, Africa to come and cook with us. <laughs> Back over there is Claudia doing some work. Let me see what we catch up here. Lincoln is heading over to the couch. Say hi, Lincoln. Oh, yes, they definitely, they wanted to see the dogs. That's Lincoln. Hi, Lincoln. Uh, where's Kona? Oh, Kona's on the floor. Here's Kona. Hi, buddy. Sorry, is the wine going in the sauce or in the meat? In the sauce. In the sauce. Thank you. Okay. So as we turn it around, this is going to come up. We want this to sim boil first and then simmer. So as it comes up, I'm going to simmer it and bring it down. And we're going to cook it down maybe about a quarter of the way. It's really thin right now because there's no thickening agent in the, in the sauce itself. Okay. So while that's going... If everybody has everything going, we're going to go bread some eggplant. Is everyone all good? All right. Let me know if you need, have any more questions for Chef on the sauce while we go do the eggplant. All right. So, so just for clarification, my meat is now brown. I drain it, and then I just leave it. I don't throw it into the sauce yet. Right? Take, yep. So take in your, <laughs> after you're done, take in your pot, you put the tomato juice, diced tomatoes, and wait till the meat is all drained off, all the grease is off. And then, and then put it, it in. Sauce. And then put it in and then add your seasoning. The beef okay. consomme, a little bit of sugar, um, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Okay? So just to reiterate, this is Ted Jones. Um, Hi, Ted. Well, how are you? We should have the diced tomatoes, the tomato juice, the tomato paste, the sugar. Not, no, not, not the paste, Ted. We won't put the paste in until last because ah. that'll be my gauge on the thickness of the sauce. All okay? right. And then, so we put, we put that in last, Ted. And then salt and black pepper? Yeah, just put a little bit for now. And then as, as it cooks down, the flavors will concentrate. So we don't no. want to put too much in right now. We put it in at the end. Okay? Right. Does the Italian seasoning go in now? Yes. Right. Cool. <laughs> He's, he hasn't started that yet. Chef, you're using your, you're keeping your sauce uncovered, right? That way Uncovered, the yes. Uh, Chef, would you just go reduce. over where we are one more time before we move to the eggplant? <laughs> you, want to, you want me to go through method yeah. and technique one more time? Just No, yes, just uh, where we are ingredient-wise on what should be in the meat. Yes, I would do in. garlic in now. If you want it. If you want garlic. I'm, I'm not, I can't do garlic. Not, it's a little rough on my system. Jeff, so, go ahead and give us a quick recap. Okay, I, quick a lot recap. of people are behind. Okay. So we're going to take in our pan, heat up a pan, and put some olive oil. Okay? Okay. Diced onion goes in first. We're going to brown them a little bit. After it's browned a little bit, take your raw meats, pork, beef, and veal, and put them in. And then with a whisk, as they slowly get hot, you grind them up. Just pound it down like that. Okay? And after the meat is all the way cooked, you take it out and you drain it, okay? While that's draining, take the same pot that you cooked the meat in, and you're gonna add your tomato juice, your diced tomatoes, and then all your seasonings. Italian seasoning, beef consomme, sugar, wine, garlic. And then once the meat is dry, we're gonna add it back in, okay? And that's where I am right here, Oh my God. okay? So right here, this is all I'm at. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is we're gonna cook this down for about 30 minutes, okay? So mine is very close to boiling here, okay? 
and we're just going to take our time. And the, beauti the beautiful part about meat sauce is it tastes better the next day because the flavors have a chance to adhere. Okay? All right. Sounds good. All good? Eggplant time. Eggplant okay, time. I don't know who this guy is. Who's, who's Hold what? On. Who's drinking already? Is that Abby? Hi, Abby. <laughs> He's hysterical. <laughs> of, of course. I got the Wait. iPad hanging from my vent. I love it, and your oh, child wow, is genius. adorable. Oh, he is. Oh, and Evan's here naked. Yeah, he is. <laughs> We're just eating shirtless today. Naked Evan. Yes, the meat is in the pot already. All right, so my, my sauce is starting to come up. <clears throat> Once it starts to boil a little bit, I'm going to turn it down and we're just going to simmer it and just let it go for about another 20 minutes or so. Okay? How much wine are you supposed to be drinking yourself while you do As it? much as you want. Uh, as much as you want, <laughs> but I don't drink it until after I'm done cooking. And he's got a guest here. We don't drink yet. <laughs> all right. We're good. Larry, just one quick question. Are we now put, should we put the meat in while it simmers or let the meat sit? Yes, put the meat in as it simmers. So we want all the flavors to get through everything ted okay cool thanks there was 10 minutes ago we put the meat in now now <laughs> <laughs> is everyone caught up where we need to get caught up to it looks like it okay come on over here get to the eggplant eggplant I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it okay. so for eggplant to bread eggplant salt pepper flour eggs with milk whatever kind of seasoned breadcrumb you like. One eggplant. So we cut the ends off the eggplant, we skin the eggplant, and you can do rounds if you like rounds, or you can do slice it long ways. I, I slice it long ways because I don't have to cook as many. So ends off, stand it up. And now what you wanna do, you can take a peeler if you wanna take a peeler. I don't need to do a peeler because I'm very, good with a knife. What you want to do is just take it and go all the way down and around. And that's coming off. Okay? Because I don't like skin. You can leave the skin on if you like the skin. We don't prefer the skin here. If anybody knows it's my fingers, not his. <laughs> Here's the one that's going to get chopped if you're not careful. Nah, we won't <laughs> cut. I'm a professional here, honey. <laughs> Yeah, so, Larry, we call that cat's paw. <laughs> so what, what we want to do, take a French knife now, slice one slice down. I would say we're going probably an eighth inch thick, and then flip it over so, the, so we can work on it flat. And then all I'm doing is just cutting slices down. OK? You can cut them as thick as you want, but know if you cook them a thick piece is going to have to take longer time in your oven when you cook it. Thinner the better. Thinner the better. Okay. Breading station. Flour, eggs, breadcrumb, product. Okay. So we're going to start it here. Lloyd, crack those two eggs. And then we're going to drop a little bit of milk in here. Just give people time to cut the eggplant. Yeah. Cool. Right side oh, we we don't have a second oh, chef in our kitchen. Move. Move. Is that my doggy? Yeah, he keeps getting oh, flour on him. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, buddy. So sauce is coming up. I'm going to turn it down and we're going to simmer it. Okay. So my guess is about 6:45. We'll actually take a look at it. We'll taste it and then we'll see where we're going. You're fine. And chef, you still have not put the tomato paste in. Is that right? Tomato paste will go in at the end. Okay. So we want to put a little salt and pepper into the flour, and we're actually going to season the eggplant just a little bit. Do you want to spray the pan with grease or anything? No, that's after we uh, saute it. Mix this up? Yeah, you can mix that up. Okay. 
You go towards the center so you don't get it all over your counter jab. Yes. So do you know what you're doing here? So what we're going to do, always keep one hand, if you're only by yourself, keep one hand dry, keep one hand wet. So the hand that I use the flour with is the hand I'm going to use the breadcrumbs with. So we're going to put it down here. We're going to flip it over, shake it off a little bit, and then we're going to put it in now with your other hand, flip it over here, drain off the liquid a little bit, okay? And then press it in with your dry hand. You want to press it on so that all of the breadcrumbs adhere to the eggplant. So take a look at the eggplant, bread it. We're going to put it off to the side. And Lloyd is going to continue to do that, okay? You're probably going to need more breadcrumbs. So my guess is about three cups of breadcrumbs. And it's a, you can use panko, we use panko breadcrumbs at the club. These are just an Italian season style breadcrumb. So Perfect. this is the pan we're going to cook the eggplant in. So we're dual purpose for that. While that's going on, we're going to take and heat our pan up over here so that we can start frying the eggplant. So you can see the sauce is cooking up right now. I Excuse want to get this. Me, Chef? Yeah. Chef, um, yep. did you have the flour and the breadcrumbs together? No, no, separate. There's three separate stations, flour, okay. eggs, and then breadcrumbs. Okay. Flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. Okay. Yep. Okay. Another quick question. Were we supposed to preheat the oven? Yes, 350. Thanks. Okay. You can do it now. You're, you're fine. What I'm going to do is I'm also just going to put a drop of oil into the pasta water and then a little pinch of salt as well so I don't have to season it. What I, as you guys, the ones that are cooking, if you could smell it, it is absolutely delicious just to smell, isn't it, dear? Mm -hmm. So you can see the sauce. We're cooking it down. At the end, we're going to thicken it with the tomato paste. We're going to adjust the seasonings, and then we're going to puree it so that it's smooth. So we don't, unless you like it rustic. I don't like it rustic. So this is, you see the chunks of tomato. This is all going to be pureed and smooth at the end, okay? Chef, you're going to puree it, puree it with seeds in it? Yes. Yes. And you're going to puree it with the meat in? Yes. Right. Everything in, everything in the pool? Everything in the pool. It's, it's, it's 30 seconds of a handheld blender, okay? So as we get, I don't want this too hot because we're not ready yet. Well, you can, you can leave these on top. Don't worry about it. You need more breadcrumbs here? I got more. Everyone must be doing really good. No questions. We must be going slow enough. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of chopping in this one, like I said. We got three more. That should be enough. Yeah. Honestly, I'm watching Avi, and he is looking He's like a real <laughs> professional <laughs> chef over there. Hold on, Avi, what are you doing over there? He's hysterical. How you doing? I keep talking, but my mic's on mute. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with you, Chef. That's all right. I'm, I, hopefully, I'm going slow enough on this one for you guys so that you can follow. This one, there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of chopping. So as you can see, Lloyd's almost done. Okay. I think people are still breading. That's okay. Yeah, I have, hey guys, I have guys one computer where I can I see shit. Everyone's working hard. He's been chit-chatting with his wife. He's hysterical. Oh, okay. Are y'all done? Yes, sir. You get to wash your hands now. I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't keep the.
Do we need to put any type of oil on the pan before we add the eggplant? No. Yes, but not yet. 6.34. That was Michael Fine. That's why I leave the trash there. What so, did you say we're cooking next week? Uh, next week, we're going to do uh, Mexican food for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yes. And uh, to go along with your Mexican um, chef demo, we will also be selling tequila kits and um, down at the club. So if you want to get some, <laughs> some margarita kits to go with your demo next week, we'll have them ready for you. All right, go ahead, Jeff. Okay. So... Are we all, is everybody caught up to where we need to get caught up to? No. Okay. Still breading. Uh, the <laughs> consensus is no. Okay. But too big of a, a thing. Eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> Eggplant. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> How do you see what happens when you drink all that red wine before the class? You got to drink it. Oh, this, this is a 10 year old bottle too. Look at you. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put about a... I'm not going to last too long, so might as well you drink it. <laughs> I think we got another few weeks to go. So what we're yeah. going to do is in the, in the pan, I'm going to put about a quarter inch of olive oil, and we're going to let that get hot. And then all we're going to do is brown the eggplant each side, brown it, brown it, put it back in the pan, and then we're going to bake it. And then it's done. That's the beauty of this dish. Hey. So while that's in the oven, we're going to cook the pasta. We're going to thicken up the sauce. So that's what's coming in the next 10 minutes. Okay? Then that smell good, Lloyd? Yeah. Here, I'll blow it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let me get this about. So, we want about a medium heat on the eggplant for the oil. Okay? So, what are you doing, buddy? Hi. Hey. Jeff, this is our biggest turnout yet. We have 40. Nine people. Well, I'm logged in twice, so 48. Holy cow. All right, we'll Not put another 10 you. can in the row. We'll put another 10 can out and tip it. The chef <laughs> takes tips. It. It, it, it must be <laughs> Lloyd. It's I definitely to. think it is. So, chef Lloyd was the draw. So all we're going to do, get a set of tongs with you. Let that go, Lloyd. I'm going to show you one, and you're going to do the rest of this, all right? Yes, sir. So we got to wait till the oil gets hot. And we don't want to overcrowd the pan, so we can probably get three pieces at a time in my large pan here. So oil's hot. You can put your hand over it. You feel the heat. It's ready to go. And all we're going to do is brown it. So again, just like last week, put it in and then let it fall away from you so it doesn't burn you. In and away. And then we can get a small one in. In and away. So I can get three pieces in here. And all I'm doing is looking for golden brown, OK? Did everybody get caught up on uh, the eggplant? So when I do eggplant parmesan at the club, when we do layers of it, this is how we start it. We put cheese in the middle, sauce, and then four layers on up, OK? And then all I'm doing is looking for brown. And I guess it's a little bit more. You can take a look and peek. So we don't have deep fryers at our house here. So this is like a shallow fat frying, how we're doing it right now. OK? So sauce is sprinkled. Deep fry looking chef. really good, smelling great. Pasta water is almost ready. Chef, would you sure. typically deep fry this if you were at the club? Yes. So now it's starting to get a nice brown. Yeah. Oil wasn't hot enough. That's why I didn't get super brown. Next one will get brown. So all we're going to do, we're going to put it back into the pan. And when I'm ready, timing-wise, so we want everything to come out at the same time for this. So the sauce has probably got another 10 minutes in it. Pasta's got 10 minutes. Eggplant's got 10 minutes. So everything is going to be done at the same time. And that's the key to serving food great. So let's Chef, see what style we... of pasta are you using? Uh, I don't know what I got today. Looks like we got like a penny. We got a skinny penny. Yeah. I'm not a big pasta guy. I'm going to use a piece of eggplant and sauce, and that's what my uh, dish is going to be. 
So what you want to do is take a piece, let it drain a little bit of the oil off, and just put it in the pan. Lay it down. And if you have to add more oil, you can add more oil. There's nothing wrong with that. But you don't want to pour the oil off. You want it to cool off before you uh, throw it away. So, Lloyd. And don't throw your hot oil down the sink. Yeah, Lloyd, let me uh, give this about one minute. Okay. And then three Go pieces, ahead. three pieces, and then just line them up. Right. Okay? Take over, Lloyd. How are we doing, guys? Lloyd makes the best breakfast for regattas. He's the best boat captain or boat chef you can ask for. Right, Lloyd? <laughs> Who's talking? That, that sounds like Miss McCarthy to me. That's your other daughter, Sarah. <laughs> the Sarah? Yeah. It's Sarah. Oh, yes, ma'am. I didn't recognize your voice. I'm at the other end of the kitchen here. Well, you know they had to bring in the ringers to make them look good. I know. <laughs> You can talk light. Yes. All right. It you seems like everyone is light. caught up. It's a lot of fun. The pasta sauce is excellent. It smells fantastic. Does anyone have so, any questions? Like I'm, still, uh, breading, uh, I'm still breading over here. That's all right, Abby. Oh, don't worry about it. Slow. I don't think Lloyd so has called anybody a meatball yet. So the biggest problem that home cooks have is they like to touch and grab and, and look at it. Just let, let God do its work. See how beautiful brown that is on the eggplant? Just leave it alone and let it go. Okay? So this has got another minute and that's done. Okay? So what I'm going to do now... I would forget it. I just cut this one and I lost it. Hey, Chef, what kind of um, pan are you going to bake the eggplant in? A metal one or a... a... Uh, like a cookie sheet okay. with a side on it. That's all. Okay. Yes. Boy, talk to the people. Keep them, keep them entertained. Yes, yes. I'm turning the uh, zucchini, and I'm not burning my hands. That's done. See how soft it's getting? Yeah. So what we're going to do is after the eggplant is all done, we're going to pop it in the oven about 10 minutes just to soften it up. And if you want to add cheese, you can add cheese. It's up to you guys. About how long did you fry? About two or three minutes each side? I would say it max. It depends on the heat. That's max. Otherwise, you're going to start burning it. Yeah, you don't want it to burn. Okay. So maybe just one or two minutes per side and then go yeah. in the oven. Yeah, yes. But you see how nice and golden, get in there, Brennan. You see how nice and golden brown that is? And it's almost cooked itself. And then at, before I put it into the oven, we're going to season it up a little bit because eggplant absorbs everything that you put on and it. And it cooks fast, too. So you don't like eggplant, you got zucchini, you got anything you want. How's the sauce going, guys? See, mine's already, mine is very close to finish. Okay, it's cooked off some of the liquid. So it went from up here. You see what a line is here? It's probably down a good one inch. So it's cooking down and thickening and gaining flavor. That's what we're doing, okay? And that's why you want to leave the lid off, right, Chef? So that it can Correct. cook down? Yes. If you leave the lid on, it won't happen. It won't happen as quickly. And don't worry about the chunkiness as we, as we puree it a little bit. It'll smoothen everything out. Okay. Chef, Nancy is doing the eggplant grilled. Would she grill it just like we did last week on the, on the yeah, grill like let, the zucchini? Uh, it's, it's up to her. Uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper. It'll probably take a total of six to eight minutes on her grill, depending on how hot her grill is. Okay? Perfect. And then you got to keep an eye on it so you don't want it burnt or the sides of it get too black. Okay. Jeff, would you suggest okay. I do it with the skin on then? Uh, up to you. I don't like skin that's grilled or in, in this. So, so the, the zucchini so, will hold together grilling even if I keep, if I cut the skin off? Uh, the eggplant, yes. Oh, the eggplant. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So eggplant is done. When we're ready. We're going to season it, salt and pepper, okay? And then it's going to go in the oven for probably six or eight minutes, okay? 
All right. How we doing, guys? Are you guys ready for the sauce or pasta, or do you want me to wait a little bit? I have some questions about the pasta. Okay. Um, what do you think is the best pasta for holding the sauce, like going with the sauce? I know you're using penne. I'm using penne because it's here. Pappardelle is probably the best. Okay. Any kind of I thicker noodle. Right. Okay. So Perfect. Seems like people go are catching up to us. Okay. Eggplant's in the oven. We're going to pull it at 53. Okay. About eight minutes. So we're going to cook the pasta. So in the pasta water, salt, oil. And again, that's going to take about eight minutes. Nope. And you can time your pasta with your eggplant. So put your pasta in exactly. after your eggplant's in the oven. And keep that, that way everything's boiling. coming out at the same time. Okay, so we got three things we're working on right now. Pasta's working, eggplant's working, and we're gonna puree the sauce. And then we're gonna hit, then we're gonna check the thickness. So take your handheld blender. Hello. Oh, maybe. Maybe. And hit it on high. Jeff, if someone is cooking chicken instead of eggplant, how long do you think in the oven? Still about eight, 10 minutes, depending? Is it chicken breast or bone-in chicken? Breast. Let's say chicken tender. breast. Yeah. Chicken breast will take you about 10 minutes. Chicken tenders, probably. Chicken 10 to 12 tenders. minutes. Okay. All right, 10 to 12 minutes on chicken. Tell me what kind of pastas you guys are using. Um, if you don't have a hand mixer, Chef, what do you suggest if they don't have the, the hand blender? Don't, don't worry about it. Just add tomato paste and go for the proper thickness that you're looking for. Okay. It just won't be thin or smooth. Right. Otherwise, you could use a potato masher. Oh, we have a lot of different pastas going on today. So what, what I did is we broke the big pieces of tomatoes down so that they're smoother, OK? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to add, I would, for, for us, we're going to add about half of the small can of tomato paste. And then continue to let that boil, and that'll tell you what your thickening will be, what I need to add more of or less of, okay? So add half the can, my guess is I'm probably going to add just a little bit more, okay? And now is a great time to taste the sauce. And what we're looking for is smooth, no acid, and tastes like spaghetti sauce, okay? My guess is this is gonna need salt, a little sugar, and some more Italian seasoning. It's pretty good. It needs just a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little beef consomme. A little bit of salt. Pepper. And pepper, of course, because I love pepper. And then a little Italian seasoning. You can, they can use ground if they want. And then a little seasoning, just a little bit. It doesn't, mine doesn't need much. Now this is all based on taste. So this is all a... up to your taste buds. So now we're gonna let Lloyd taste it. And I think I'm going to add a drop of sugar in there as well. So you taste that sauce. Excellent. Put hair on my feet so I don't need socks. <laughs> so let me taste this here. It's pretty good. 
And I'm just gonna do a drop more sugar because I'm getting a little taste of acid. So. So Lloyd, your real name is now uh, Lloyd Baggins, huh? <laughs> Frodo. What'd you say? Lloyd Baggins. Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. So I'm gonna have to add just a drop more tomato paste here for me. And we're gonna continue to let this cook. Get a picture of that. Chef, meat. what is your preferred Italian seasoning? Your preferred herbs? Uh, at the club, we'll use fresh oregano, thyme, and basil. And that's what I have in dried form here because I'm at home. So pasta's got about three minutes. Eggplant's got about three minutes. The sauce is almost there. And it's probably got about two, three minutes and everything's gonna be done at once. Yeah, we're gonna drain it right in there. Okay, thank you. But this needs just a little more time or else if it's too thin, it's not gonna adhere to the pasta. And that's the key to the everything. So we're gonna take the pasta, we're gonna drain it off. You can hit it with a little olive oil if you want. It's up to you guys. Or take it, put it in a bowl, put the sauce on top, a little Asiago cheese and you're ready to go. For me, it's gonna be eggplant, sauce, cheese, ready to eat. And if you find that your sauce is too thick, you can always take a little water from your pasta. Always adding flavor. Don't just add plain water, add pasta water, okay? How's everybody doing over there? All right. Any questions? People get, are you guys getting caught up a little bit? If you're cooking chicken or a different thing, just let us know. We want to see your photos. So if you take photos of your dish afterwards, you can post them and tag us on Facebook. You can send them to Sarah, communications at chicagoyachtclub.org, and we'll post them as well. We're doing vegetarian in this household tonight. I love a vegetarian. You're using the mushrooms, right? That sounded like a, a, a Lou Rosenthal. It good was. Guess. Very good, good guess. guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chef, if you, uh, in your tomato paste, how many ounces was the can? So they know about six. half of. The whole can was six ounces. Six ounces. So six, six ounces, the whole can, I probably used four. Okay, perfect. And they do have a pasta that in a tube, too. I love using the paste in a tube. I think it saves a lot of waste. Um, really? Very efficient. Yeah, you just like squeeze it out I'm like a toothpaste, and then you put and the lid. It's better than toothpaste. Yeah, <laughs> and if you run out of toothpaste, you can just use it. So, what, I what you'll notice, idea. hey guys, what you'll notice about the sauce is you don't have the grease on top of your sauce because when we drained off all the meat and the onions, all the grease left. So what we have is pure flavor left. Okay, that's the key to this whole dish but you'll see how smooth my sauce is. So you see how smooth the sauce is like this? And the, thickening, the only thickening agent we used was the tomato paste, okay? A good spoon right there if you want. So eggplant is done. Take that out. Eggplant goes just till it's soft and you can touch it. So ours is soft, ready to go. Okay, oven off, it's hot. Okay, pasta sauce is just about exactly where I want it to be. We're gonna give this about one more minute. And the pasta itself needs about one or two minutes. So everything is gonna be served very hot. And that's the key. So let me taste one of these. Not yet, that needs about two more minutes. So we'll let the sauce go down. And the beauty of the spaghetti sauce is it's actually going to taste better tomorrow because the flavor will have a chance to, to mold and, and get better in a day. Okay? So I'm actually going to turn the sauce off. Sauce is done. Let me take that one top. Move this over here. We'll get this going a little faster over here.
Chef, if their sauce is a little more liquidy than they would like, should they just reduce longer, add more tomato paste? What's your recommendation? Both. Yeah. Both. both. Okay. Do both. Cook it a little longer. Okay. Why don't you turn the mic? Is there a light on the bottom of the microwave? I'm not sure. I feel like it should have some juice light. How's that? Oh, the light. Son, good call there. Good call. It's like you can see everything. See, we're trying to get all this done in an hour, so if your items take longer, just leave them cook more. All right, I think we're here. We have arrived. I'm going to give that another 30 seconds. So, for me, this is what my cook's going to look like. Oh, someone's doing shrimp, squid, and scallops, Chef. That sounds good. Is that Mr. Zyler doing all that nice stuff? That's, a the name is Amy. Amy, let us know how Amy it turns Schwartz? out. Let me know how it turns out, Amy. Uh, someone wants to know if it's possible to overcook the sauce. Overcook the sauce? No, absolutely not. You can cook it all day. That's not very close, Jamie. Most of the good Italian sauces are cooked. They'll, they'll cook it eight to ten hours with neck bones and sausage, and they'll put everything in there. So this is what my plate's going to look like. This is what everyone else's plate. So water, drain the pasta water. Okay. Right. Yeah. Got a lot of good substitutions. I'm liking it, guys. And then hit the pasta with just some olive oil and then stir it so it doesn't stick together. Okay? Or butter, whatever they want to use. Butter, up to you. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little of the pasta in a bowl, hit it with the sauce right on top. And put an eggplant on the side. An eggplant will be on the side. And then a little cheese. Right on top. Look at that. That looks so good, doesn't it? Well, since you're if their sauce is a little bit too sweet, what do you recommend to bounce back out? Um, add more tomato juice and continue cooking it down. Maybe a little red wine. So Lloyd gets the taste because he's in my house as a guest. It's piping hot. It took us 50 plus minutes or so. Don't burn yourself. It's very hot. Ha <laughs> ha. It's very good, guys. You're going to enjoy it. So, anybody have any questions? One question we had was about freezing the sauce. Let's say they make a lot of yes. sauce. Yes. Yes. What you do you can. recommend? So, um, after f pulling it out, the sauce will get more liquidy. So, you're going to have to re thicken it up. Okay but you can freeze the sauce, okay? I recommend waiting, let it cool down completely. Cool, cool it off and, and I do usually it the use next Ziploc. Day. Right, cool it off, usually put it in the fridge and then I use Ziploc bags. I put them on a sheet tray so they lay flat while they freeze. And then I stack them up in my freezer and I just write with a Sharpie the date that I cook the sauce. And that way I use the oldest one first whenever I reheat. Chef, what kind of cheese did you use? One more time. What kind of cheese? Just, uh, shredded, uh, just parm? Asiago shredded Asiago. You can use parm. It's up to you. Okay. All right. Any other questions, guys? I'm not seeing a lot of questions. I can't wait to see the photos that you guys, of everything that you guys cooked. Just knowing all the different changes that you guys made, it's gonna turn out great. Any more questions for Chef?
Um, I'll do it. All right. What Thank do you chop in there? Oh, is that a cake? All right. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, Thank you, everyone. And let me know how your uh, sauce came out. For me, this is my favorite sauce. So we we'll one, more one more. Oh. Mm -hmm. Send me the pictures, guys. Do you want? To... I do yeah. have. Send us the pictures. Yeah. Go ahead. Can I ask one more question? Yeah. Please. How long do you puree it? Probably two to three minutes until it's smooth, so there's no chunks. So, Miss McCarthy, as you see here, how smooth it is. Yes, yeah, so mine is not that smooth, so I'm gonna go back and start um, okay. pureeing it. Okay. Yep. And if you guys are missing the food from the club, don't forget that we are starting our to-go orders this week. So if you uh, just go on the club calendar, it's every single day. Click on the club calendar, it'll pull up the link, and you can fill out the order form there. And then everyone on the FNB team will be there at the club one of the days for pickup um, to say hi to you guys and give you your food. And we're really excited about starting our new to go. We also have the cocktail kits, the tequila kits, and we're doing wine tastings um, coming up. So check the calendar for all of that. And if you have any questions, you can always email me catering at chicagoyachtclub.org. And I will have the recording of this um, ready to go this evening. So if anyone wants it tonight, um, you can have that. I'm also going to upload it to our YouTube. And Mary, yes, it's time to start drinking. Oh, <laughs> enjoy you your me. dinner. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have fun. Bye, Bye. Thank you very much. Everybody. Thank you, Taylor. Thank Thanks you, Taylor. Thanks, Taylor. You're welcome, Taylor. guys. Have a great Bye. night. Thanks, everybody. Nice to see everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, so nice to see everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. It was awesome. Oh, now I'm going to get my help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Have a great night. Thanks, you too.